Let's document. Join me as we cover breast ultrasound protocols. On today's edition, documenting nipple invasion. Let's talk about how to document nipple invasion. And this means that the mass has invaded the nipple. And what happens when a mass invades the nipple is it pulls the nipple in. So you start seeing nipple inversion. The ultrasound appearance of this is either going to be a subareolar mass that's contiguous with the nipple where you can't distinguish the border between the mass and the nipple, or you're gonna see a mass that has extensions connecting it to the nipple, speculations, like in this top image or you're gonna see a mass in a duct and the duct has duct extension pattern meaning that the branching portions of the mass within the duct are extending towards the nipple. Another feature of a ductal mass is they tend to be hypervascular. They tend to really light up when you turn on the color Doppler. To document a mass that's invading the nipple you want to make sure that you take an image in the radial plane and this is because the ducts course radially in the breast and this demonstrates the relationship of the mass to the nipple. If the mass is clearly invading the nipple, first take a radial image and then take a radial color Doppler image. And this is demonstrating the relationship of the mass to the nipple. If the mass is close but not invading the nipple, then you want to measure the distance with the calipers between the mass and the nipple. This is communicating to your radiologist that you don't see a clear extension of the mass to the nipple. And this is about how far away way it is on the ultrasound. Now there can be tiny speculations that we can't visualize on ultrasound, but this is just saying when I look at this visually, there's no obvious connection that I'm seeing. The bottom image on this slide is a picture of the nipple when it's inverted, what it looks like when the nipple is pulled in. Note that some women have inverted nipples their whole lives, so we mostly care about nipple inversion if it's a new finding or if it occurs only on one side. When it's bilateral and has been around forever, then that can be a normal finding for some women. After you've taken all your radial images, then move on to the anti-radial lane to finish up your documentation. Let's summarize. This is how to document nipple invasion. The first thing you want to do is ensure that you have the word nipple clearly labeled within all of your images. You also want to take radial images with and without measurements and a radial image with color dollar, anti-radial images with and without measurements and an anti-radial image with color Doppler. It doesn't matter which dimension you take your measurements in. You just want to ensure that you have three dimensions in total. Your length, which is a horizontal measurement, your height, which is a vertical measurement, and your width, which is a horizontal measurement. When measuring the mass, any angular or lobulated margins should be included in the measurement of the mass. If there's a thick echogenic halo present, that should also be included in the measurement of the mass. However, any speculations or extensions to the nipple should be excluded from the measurement of the mass. Depending on the protocol of your site, some sites will have you measure the size of the extensions between the nipple and the mass. If you visualize extensions of the mass connecting to the nipple, you want to take a radial image demonstrating those connections between the mass and the nipple. And you want to take that image with and without color Doppler. If the mass is close to the nipple but not clearly invading the nipple, meaning you don't see any visible extensions to the nipple, then you want to measure the distance between the mass and the nipple. And this demonstrates that you're not clearly visualizing a connection between the mass and the nipple. And it also delineates the distance between the mass and the nipple. Some sites will want a measurement taken of the distance of the mass from the nipple regardless of whether or not extensions are seen between the mass and the nipple to delineate how far away the mass is from the nipple. So it's important to follow the protocol of your site. Interested in more videos on ultrasound? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tune in for our next video on Wednesdays.